Man, it's been a while since we've done a Dimash video. I guess it's about time we get to that. Hi guys, welcome to Lee Reacts. Hope everyone's having a good day. I know I am. We are back with another Patreon request from our patron, Steve G. Once again with the Dimash pick, he is going to be covering uh, Lionel Richie's Hello. It's back in 2018 on the Chinese show I Am Singer, I believe. I think he got invited back after his breakout performance prior. I think it was like, I don't know what the time span before was. But I think we covered that on the channel already. Um, I think it was one of the first Dimash videos we did. Courtesy of Steve as well, I think. Um, so this is apparently a song that kind of caused a little controversy between Lionel Richie uh, and Dimash. I don't know if there's any personal beef between the two but apparently Lionel was not uh happy that Dimash sang this song or something like that I don't know I'm just re relaying secondhand information but um I bet he absolutely kills it he's got probably the best voice in the world at the moment and um I'm excited to hear more so let's go if y'all aren't subscribed help brother out click that icon right down there I'd really appreciate it. And I'll also be linking my Dimash playlist up there for all the other videos we've done if you want to go watch some after this is over. All right, here we go. Hello by Dimash Kudibergen. Kudibergen. Three, two, one, go. I'm excited. It's been a while. <clears throat> i 
That was incredible, bro. Oh my god. I love how the audience is like going crazy, but the judges and the, I guess the other contestants, I think that's what it is. Those people in the white room, um, they didn't, <laughs> they were like, oh yeah, there he goes again, killing everybody, you know? <laughs> oh man, he definitely has the best voice that uh, right now, you know what I'm saying? Um, the pure technical power that he has, um, in every octave, every range, it's uh, kind of unparalleled. It's kind of scary, to be honest. Like, when you really think about how good he is at singing and not just, like, one octave, he can literally sing everything. That's that's incredible. It's scary at the same time, though. It's like it's a singing robot. It's crazy. I love him so much, though, but he's because he, I, I joke like that because it's he's the complete opposite because he's got so much emotion, so much feeling, so much dramaticism. He sells every second of every song, not even just with his vocals, but with his um, the charisma that he's got, the, the acting basically on stage. He just puts everything into his performance, it seems like. And it um, it obviously just wows you to the point of like, Oh my God, I can't take anymore. You know, <laughs> I get it. You can sing Dimash, stop, you know, but you just don't stop it. He just keeps going and it's amazing. It's amazing. And then you hit that ending and you're like, damn, I want to play it again. You know, it's, it, it just gives you the chills, man. Um, I think for the first half of the song, uh, I don't want, how do I put this? He, um, I feel like he was finding his footing for like the first 30 seconds you know, apparently his English wasn't as good as it is now. That's what Steve said um, back in 2018. Uh, but I think he did a great job singing in English, you know, especially with having the lyrics and everything right there in front of you. Um, but it was about the halfway point where it starts to flip and he starts to go higher. And it, oh, my God, it's like watching a jet take off. It's you just already know it's about to happen. Once he starts those runs, you're like, oh, here it goes. And then he just goes on like this, you know, minute and a half, just insane vocal run that just doesn't stop. And it's a beautiful thing to listen to, man, and watch, obviously, because he um, puts on a hell of a show. And I don't know exactly what that instrument was. It looked like a recorder or something like that, but it looked like a maybe like an instrument an older like wooden version like of a, a recorder maybe it's from that region i don't know um but that was just a fantastic performance and it seemed like he said i love you in a different language there at the end too i think what did steve say he said it in um oh he substitute the mandarins oh he used mandarin for i love you and uh and it sounds like wo he wo hi ni and the audience loved it but then the final utterance of i love you is in kazakh oh interesting so yeah that was later points of the song he changed it to mandarin okay i heard that and then the very last one he said in kazakh that's crazy man imagine being fluent in like multiple languages like i can speak some spanish i can speak some latin but that's it you know uh I wish I knew like more languages. 
Um, not even so I could just go, you know, singing in other languages and all that would be cool. No, but I just wish I could like conversate with people. And yes, that's a word. I don't care what you say. Um, I wish I could be able to talk to people in other languages, you know, cause you know, nowadays you can do the Google translate thing, but that's just, I hate giving machines and other things our jobs and that not even like in a physical sense, but like uh, that should be our job as human beings to understand each other, even though we don't speak the same language. It's a very awesome tool to be used but i don't know man i i feel like the more control and the more access we give to the machines um the worse off we are let's just put it that way because i don't want to anger any of the machines that are listening to this right now because i know there are some um you guys are loved too don't worry bots it's okay um <laughs> uh it, it just it boggles the mind um how good this man is I think I can leave it at that. Hopefully y'all enjoyed that. Um, if you guys have any other picks by Dimash you think I would like, please leave it down below. Um, obviously my favorite part would be uh, that ending run that he went on with hair raising. You know what I mean? Like like his vocal just prowess paired with that charisma. You can't beat that. Like that's, um, that's a hard combo to beat, man. And he's a good looking dude, bro. I bet he is slaying it over there. Good for him, man. I know he travels the world too. He's a world famous, like beyond world famous, basically. He's probably famous on Mars, but not in America for, you know, a lot of people, it seems like, because I didn't know about him at all. Um, and I'm younger, so you'd think I would know, but no, not at all. And I'm so glad that Steve and everybody introduced me to him because he is, um, a piece of art literally and i'm glad that he exists and i'm glad that i exist in the same time as him so i can enjoy his work because it, it's definitely uh satiating you know solace uh, amongst um the wreckage that we call our lives you know sorry what well, i guess the gummies kicked in my bad uh <laughs> i really did like that obviously i think i see why lionel richie got a little pissed off because i think dimash kind of did a little better than him but Still, it's Lionel's song straight up. Um, I've heard Lionel's version of it many times, and that's a great song. Uh, this is a great cover done the only way Dimash can, which is just supercharge it. And I thought it was wonderful. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you have a great day. Seriously, thanks for stopping by. And um, if you have any other recommendations by Dimash, leave it down there. One more thing. Um, there's a really cool Patreon community we have. Uh, they get to pick most of the videos. I get to pick some of them, but they pick most of them. Uh, if you join the $15 tier or up, you get one free request a month. Um, there's other tiers if you want to do more than one request, blah, 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 blah. There's also a PayPal in the description if you want to send a tip or a request in that way. See you later.